Uh, let's talk about a bit of lefty lunacy, Rita. We've got um, British Airways non-binary mm. uniforms. Mm. Uh, good reason to fly British Airways. Do we have a uh, example of this uh, outfit? I oh, think I'm, we do. I'm, I'm sure we can imagine. I'm sure we can well, uh, imagine we exactly shall, well, what it looks like. I wish we did like because <laughs> the pictures I've seen are, are, are quite interesting. But I do wonder whether these outfits and they include uh, tight-fitting skirts for. Uh, male bodies, whether well, they'll be um, flying in the Middle East with, with yeah, those yes, outfits. Yes, good that's a very good question. Yes. Yes. Yeah, very or good would point. that be restricted to to other routes? Like, <laughs> that, that, just some consistency. If you're going to be bold and brave in this area, do it where it actually counts, and that would be places like the Middle East. Well, speaking of that, in Woke, Wyoming, James... Oh, yes. You know, we've got a pastor, a, a, a local uh, a religious year. figure here who's uh, giving sermon explaining to kids all about going to Pride, how important this is from a religious point of view, from I guess. Let's have a look, look at this particular bit of footage. Ooh. I think it's the glitter that makes the Pride parade like heaven, like pearly gates and streets of gold, surely... Heaven must have as much glitter as a pride parade. Wow. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know where to start deconstructing <laughs> this. I mean, wow. the first thing to say, of course, is that that is heresy in the extreme. I do not know what Christian denomination that is from in any Christian denomination, no matter how liberal, how left-wing. That is heresy. There's no other word for it. But the other really, really interesting thing to me is how pride has, for the left, become a new substitute religion, which is why it transfers so well into the pulpit there. But of course, what she's done there is this whole thing that the left always does. They try to bring heaven about on earth rather than in the next world. And that is where so many disasters around the world throughout history since the French Revolution have come from this attempt to bring heaven about on earth and heaven I'm sorry is not a pride parade <laughs> well I, I, I agree with you there my idea of heaven does not include some drag queen poncing around in a uh, singing uh, singing the voice by uh, John Farnham or whatever <laughs> we saw last week um, speaking of musicals Rita uh, Les Mis, Les Miserables, the, uh, the wonderful uh, mm -hmm. musical about uh, the, the 1848 revolution in France. Uh, the Just Stop Oil mob in oh, London, yes. they decided to, for the, 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 they must disrupt it. So let's just have a look at this. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's just brave and stunning work. But if you <laughs> listen to... Because these, these people are given a platform repeatedly by the British media, a very soft platform. They're not asked any difficult questions. They said that they're essentially saving the world. They, they, one of their representatives went on, uh, I think it was Sky News UK, and essentially cried on air and, and uh, said, you know, <laughs> we, we, we are saving the world from boiling. This is... The, these people are insane. They are routinely breaking the law. They actually are quite open about their uh, plans to break the law in the future, and yet the British Constabulary are not taking any action. They're, they're, they're raiding Lawrence Fox's joint. Yep. But what about these habitual lawbreakers who are you know, blocking uh, roadways, uh, interfering well, in this is they're, they're, they're not Sorry. blocking roadways, they're going to the West End. It costs 200 quid, about 500 bucks to buy a ticket to see Les Mis. You're, you're sitting there. These are not people, you know, they're, they're, this are the, these are the lobbies well, who would be all... Rita, they're but the Rita, equivalent Rita. of the teal, so why are you protesting yeah, but Rowan, and why are you destroying the actors' careers? But Rowan, Rita, here's the thing, you know, there is a direct, not a dotted line, but a direct line between that Wyoming pastor we saw and yes. the behavior of just stop oil. Oh, because in both time. cases, they see the exact same thing. It is their role to break whatever rule they can to bring about their particular idea of paradise, whether it's pride or decarbonization and making us all live in yurts. You know, um, <laughs> that's, it's, it's, it's the same thing. It's, it is. And it's this religious-like zealotry Correct. that they have. So they feel like laws don't apply to them because their cause is bigger than the law. Their cause is going to save humanity. I mean, it, we, we, we've, we've got to stop giving a platform to these people who are either, I don't know, liars 
or mentally unstable. Well, they're mentally would unstable. Perhaps, they're maybe mentally it's a unstable. bit of both. Yeah. But um, this is also, sorry, this is also why, you know, we see it with the voice campaign. We talked earlier in the show about how, you know, there's shenanigans and all sorts of things going on. And again, it's because people who feel that they're on the right side of history or can do whatever they like. This is the same mentality. And now, that's just... why I was so upset with the Australian Electoral Commission being so reckless in posting mm -hmm. that comment about, uh, you know, we can't really stop you from voting more than once. The vote's going to count. But then they said, oh, well, that hardly ever happens. It's only when people are mentally deranged or have some sort of mental health issue that that's happened. No. We're living in an age where activists feel like these things are justifiable. History these is calling. actions are justifiable. Why would you put that out there and almost... Uh, I, I just think it was so reckless and we've got to have a look at the Australian Ele Electoral oh, Commission yeah. after this seriously. referendum. Yes. Because right if, if from the If the coalition start... government gets in at the next election, which I hope they will, they've got to immediately put the uh, ABC onto a subscription model and start ripping through all these organisations like the AEC, chop them off at the head, uh, get rid of the, 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 the clowns who've been running them and sort them out figuratively, uh, chop them off at the head. Um, let's go back through the magic of television to show you those British Airways... Uh, uniforms. Oh. Here we go. Have a look. They're, they're, they're <coughs> stunning. Where are they? Are they no? stunning or are they brave? Imagine them. No, no, they're here. They're coming now. Oh, look at that. We there we Love go. It. So your Love British it. Airways. Uh, is that the bloke on the right wearing a skirt? Got it. Okay. Oh, right. There you go. Well, Fantastic. Um, it's got a fair pair of pins there. I, I think, think you know, suddenly, I mean, suddenly Emirates is looking very good, and Etihad yeah, and I'm Qatar just... Airlines is looking very good, and so on and so forth.